Most productivity advice makes you feel like you're the problem, like just wake up at 5 a.m. or use the Pomodoro technique or be more disciplined. But that advice completely misses the mark. Look, the tools that we're using for knowledge work today were designed decades ago. Your calendar doesn't understand when you have the most energy, for example. Your notes don't connect to your meetings automatically. Your files organize themselves by date, not by relevance to what's most important to you. Well, the seven AI tools I'm gonna share with you today solve these exact problems and more by creating sort of this interconnected productivity system for you. I've tested dozens or maybe close to hundreds of AI tools over the past year. And these are the ones that have genuinely helped my ability to focus and be more productive. And today I'm gonna to walk you through each one of these tools and show you exactly how to use them and also use them together for the biggest impact. By the way, if you're new here, my name is Rick Mulready. And for the past 11 years, I've run a multi seven figure online business, helping thousands of online businesses become more efficient and more streamlined. And today I run my school community called the AI Playbook, which I'll link to in the description below. Hello, this is for online businesses who are looking to leverage AI to be more efficient and increase profitability in the process. Again, link is in the description below. For the first tool, the foundation of focus starts with your calendar, right? Which is why Morgan completely changed my productivity. Unlike apps like Google Calendar, Morgan doesn't just track appointments. It strategically plans your entire week using AI. So check this out. So we're inside of Morgan right now. And as you can see here, it's pretty straightforward looking. I've integrated it with my Google Calendar. On the left hand side here, it has your to-do list. So it has your inbox, which you can manually add to right here, or you can integrate it with external accounts, as you can see here. So if you do your tasks in Notion or ClickUp or Todoist, Google Tasks, whatever, you can integrate these tools with Morgan and it will pull in the task list from those tools. Now, once you have your task list, this is where Morgan gets really cool integrating AI into it. You come up here to the AI planner in the top right-hand corner, and what it will do is it'll use AI based on the parameters that you've given it, which I'll show you here in just a second, and it will automatically add your tasks into the calendar based on where it thinks is the best time for you to do these specific tasks. So check this out. If we go into open preferences, you can see here the AI planner and you can go through and set all these different pr preferences up. And what the AI will do is it will learn over time when you best like to do different types of tasks. So the idea is just to fill out your task list here, click the AI planner and it will put the tasks right into your calendar and boom, your planning is completely done. And by the way, Morgan actually tracks your capacity planning. So most of us consistently overbook ourselves, right? Creating constant stress in our work week. Well, Morgan actually flags when you're at like 120% capacity and will help you reprioritize your calendar before you burn out. So no more deadline panic or 2 a.m. work session Morgan has you covered. Now, Morgan handles when you work, but what about organizing all your ideas and information? Well, that's where the next tool comes in, and it's arguably the most powerful tool on today's list. So if Morgan optimized your time, Tana optimizes your thinking, and it's easily the most comprehensive tool that we're gonna cover here today. Now, the AI features inside of Tana, what I think really separate it from other knowledge tools out there. You can essentially build custom GPTs and agents within Tana using any of the AI models out there like ChatGPT or Claude or Gemini. It's trained on your information because Tana is your knowledge base, your knowledge source of aggregating all the information and ideas and notes that you have. So Tana can reference your past projects, your meeting notes, and this personal knowledge that you give it to give you contextually relevant answers using AI within the platform. So the feature that saves me hours every single week is Tana's meeting bot. So Tana can connect with your Google Calendar, with your Zoom account, for example, and it will join your Zoom calls and it will transcribe everything for you and automatically converts those calls into actionable tasks and summaries. So here's an example of a call I recently had. And down here, you can see the summary of that call that I automatically get as soon as the call is over. So I can just highlight this and I can expand all of this. And so here is my entire summary of that call. Also, it automatically creates the follow-up tasks and add the tasks to my task list here inside Atana. In addition to the notes and tasks and summary that it creates for you automatically is I can now chat with this call transcript after the call. So if I miss something, for example, during the call, 
I can come in here and ask any type of question to the transcript and it'll give me that answer. And what I love about it, it's all integrated here into this one screen all inside of Tana. So it keeps me here and allows me to be way more productive. And Tana has essentially allowed me to replace like three separate apps in my workflow, which is awesome. The next tool is called Granola. Granola is perfect for any of you like me who have Zoom call after Zoom call after Zoom call and you're trying to take notes while also staying present in each of these conversations, which is impossible to do both well, by the way. So Granola joins your meetings and it takes notes for you and transcribes the meeting for you. Now, you might be like, well, Rick, why are you sharing Granola right now? You just shared how amazing Tana is at doing something similar. Well, I gotta say that I learned about Granola prior to learning about Tana and I love how simplistic and quality the notes are in Granola that I just keep using both of them. And here's an example of what I'm talking about here. Here are some notes from a recent call that I had here. You can see here, it's really well organized. It's very clear. It's really comprehensive notes. You have the transcript linked to the bottom of the page here. And then also it's linking to other calls that you've had with that same person. Over on the right-hand side here, you can also talk with the transcript, just like I mentioned in Tana, which is, I think is really cool. You can ask Granola different things, list action items, write follow-up email. And what I love about it too, is you can share these notes via email, right into your Notion, right into Slack or what have you. And what I think really makes Granola different is that you you control the notes. So you can create different formats and different templates for your notes, depending on what type of call it is here. So you can go in here and look at all the different templates that you can set up. So for example, a brainstorm or a project sync or what have you. So think of it like having a transcriber and an editor working behind the scenes for you all the time on all of your calls. So now that you've got your meetings and notes handled, let's tackle the number one focus killer for most of us, and that is email. So yeah, like so many of us, for me, email is the biggest focus destroyer in my day, which is why Quora, which is the next AI productivity tool I wanna to share with you today, has become essential in my workflow. Now, Quora does two things, well, three things, I think, really, really well. The first thing it does is it sorts through your emails and deems which ones are most important to you and will automatically create drafted responses for you that you can then go in and choose and send off. So it does the work for you. The other thing it does really well is it creates a digest for you. So it sorts your emails, tagging those emails that require urgent replies versus those that you can batch later, for example. And this simple email triage system has reduced my email anxiety almost entirely now. Now I check my email twice a day instead of having it constantly interrupt my flow because let's face it, I check it way too often. So here's an example of a Quora Digest page. And so as you can see here, it sorts through all the emails for you in your inbox and sends you this digest. So you can see here important information, comments, payments, newsletters. It does the sorting for you. And the more you train it over time, the more accurate and more helpful these digests will be for you. And what you can do with each of these emails, as I mentioned, it gets smarter and smarter for you. You can click the three little dots and say, always keep an inbox, unsubscribe, return to inbox. You can add it as a to-do list over here and it will show up you click on it and it's just your entire email right there. So you don't have to be in your email inbox. And then also this is where you teach Cora how to interact with these types of emails that you're getting, whether they're senders or subject contains or what have you. And then going over into my Gmail inbox, this is what it looks like when Cora is writing three different draft responses to the email that it deems important for you. So all I have to do here is skim through. By the way, this sounds exactly like me because it's analyzed the emails in your inbox. So I can just quickly scroll through here and say, oh, okay, I like the top one here. So I'm just gonna delete the other two and I can send this right away as a reply. So Core basically keeps me out of my inbox and streamlines the entire process because I get two digests, two of those Core digest pages I just showed you, one at 8 a.m. in the morning and one at 3 p.m. in the afternoon and I'm done with email. Now the next AI tool I wanna to share with you solves another major focus problem and that's helping you figure out what you're actually spending your time on. Because understanding where your time actually goes is crucial for improving your focus, which is why Rise has become an essential part of my workflow system and my business. This AI-powered 
Time Tracker doesn't just log hours, it actively helps you build better work habits. So Rise runs in the background of your computer, automatically detecting which applications and websites that you're using. But here's what makes it really different. It uses AI to understand the context of your work. It knows when you're in deep work versus when you're distracted and it gently nudges you back on track when your focus drifts. It will also, if you go to a random website that's different from where you've been working, you'll get a little nudge saying, hey, are you taking a break right now? Or is this part of the deep work that you're trying to do right now? What I love most is how it identifies your focus patterns over time. So for me, for example, I discovered that I was context switching nearly 40% more in the afternoons and that insight, that information helps me restructure my day completely. Now I schedule my most demanding, creative, deep work before lunch when my focus metrics that I see in Rise are strongest. And because Rise connects with your Google Calendar, it also builds a dashboard for you of your focus habits showing you exactly how much time you spend in deep work, for example, versus your more shallow tasks. This visibility alone has helped me prioritize better and eliminate those time-wasting activities that, let's face it, we all do. I didn't realize how much time I was wasting each day and Rise really helped me overcome that. But tracking your time is only part of becoming more productive and getting more focused. You also need to capture your ideas when inspiration strikes. And let's face it, it's usually when you're in the shower or out for a walk or what have you, which brings us to the next tool. And that next tool is called VoicePal. So VoicePal is Ali Abdal's new tool, or I don't know how new it is, but I just recently discovered it and I really, really like it. What's great at is when we get our inspiration, we're out for a walk, we're out we're in the shower, we're in the most inopportune times, right, to capture those thoughts and ideas that we have because oftentimes those are the best ideas. We wanna turn those things into content. Well, that's where VoicePal comes in. So check this out. So the cool thing about this is you can create a bunch of different presets in here. So as you can see here, I've already created a YouTube script preset, but you can click on create a new preset. You can do newsletter, journal entry, Twitter posts, do, or you can add your own. These are just templates that they already have. So you can create your own prompts in here and have these really cool presets set up. All you have to do when you're out and you capture, um, and you wanna capture your thoughts, you can just click on the plus button, new thought, click on record. So AI agents are the talk right now, right? But true AGI, truly autonomous agents are a ways off. The agentic abilities right now are within overall workflows but are they truly agentic behavior, truly autonomous? No, we're not there yet. So I've just recorded that simple little tiny audio. And as you can see here, it's created this transcription, but so far it's just the transcription, right? As you can see here, it's kind of grayed out, but it gives you additional questions, additional questions to go deeper on to create this piece of content for yourself, right? So I can click on this, what specific characteristics define true autonomy in AI and how do they differ from current AI capabilities. So I could click on that and I can start recording my answer to this question. So again, I didn't really answer it there, but it's transcribing what I just said. So then when it's all done, you just click on this button here. And let's just say I wanna do a, a YouTube script. It's literally creating a first draft of my YouTube script based on, I mean, that was just a little bit of talking through the idea of AI agents, but now it's creating the entire draft right here. So I, then I can save this. I can then pull this into say Claude or what have you and clean it up and edit it to move it into the next version of the draft. So as you can see here, it's pretty good. I mean, it gave me a hook, gave me a transition, the step-by-step -step breakdown. It's pretty good there considering I only recorded for about 20 seconds. Imagine what you can do with an hour's worth of your thoughts over a period of day. This can create drafts of your content really, really quickly. I've used VoicePal for scripts, for newsletters, even email templates posts that I want to post somewhere. The key is it's grabbing your creative thoughts throughout the day and very, very simply creating a piece of content from that so you don't lose that thought when you get them at the most inopportune time. Now for the seventh AI tool, it might be my favorite from this entire list here today. It's called Sparkle. And if your desktop looks anything like mine used to where you have got folders and files across your entire desktop, you need Sparkle in your life. 
This is an AI tool that automatically organizes your files and folders based on how you work, not some arbitrary system. Check this out. So right now, unfortunately, Sparkle is only available on Mac, but essentially this is what it does. It makes your desktop go from looking like this, which is exactly what mine used to look like, over to this, super, super clean. And when you download Sparkle, this is what it's gonna look like. You get to choose what you want it to organize. So I've chosen to organize my desktop documents and downloads. And you can also easily add whatever number of folders that you want just by clicking this little plus button. And what it does when it's organizing is creating three, as you can see here, top level folders, AI library, manual library, and recents. So this is what my desktop looks like right now. So again, here's the AI library, manual library, and recents folders. And then you click into it and it's created folders based on all the different types of files and folders I had previously. So as you can see here, content creation, GIFs, images, presentations, et cetera. And then you click into whatever folder and then you're gonna see the different files in there. Now, if I go to downloads and I click on say recents, these are all the recent files that I've downloaded. Or I go to the AI library, again, it's automatically organized all the different download types of folders and files that I have. So productivity, self-improvement, eBooks, et cetera, et cetera. Sparkle has definitely made me more productive and more focused because as you can see here, it organizes everything for you. And for as scattered as I am, this has been so helpful because it's organizing things based on the types of things that I'm working on, making it way easier for me. Now, I know I said I was gonna share with you seven AI tools. I wanna share a bonus tool with you here today because Readwise is one of those, I think it flies under the radar at how good it is. We all highlight different articles, passages in books, PDFs, bookmark content, et cetera, that we find valuable. But how often do we actually go and use that information when you need it? Well, Readwise now has a chat feature that solves this exact problem, I think, really brilliantly. No more frantic searching through old notes or trying to remember where you saw that quote in a book or what have you. You can come in here and let's just choose insights on business growth strategies. So as you can see here, your accumulated knowledge sources that you've been highlighting or saving and becomes instantly accessible through natural language questions. And so this is a game changer because now I don't have to go searching through books or wherever in my Kindle to find that specific highlight that I'd made. I can just come into Readwise, click on the chat, and have conversations with all the highlights and content that I've saved and highlighted. So there you have it, eight actually AI tools that have really helped me double my productivity and focus. I'll list them all in the description below, along with a link to my school community called the AI Playbook, which is for online businesses. If you're looking to leverage AI, to streamline your business to become more profitable, join us inside the AI Playbook school community. The link is in the description below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.